Okay, so I just realized I never started recording. Lovely. Well, we're starting here. Yeah, Pokemon Insurgents. Delta only. Iron Man. Hard mode. That's what I'm doing, yeah. A lot of words. It'll just probably be Delta only Iron Man. It's the fact that it's hard mode, well... You, you'll see that from gameplay. Oh no, this is gonna be annoying. Oh my god. Can I be free of bind? Holy shit. Okay, we're raising both of them up to level 11. Yeah, but basically what I'm doing right now is grinding for the first, like, evil team battle. Basically, evil teams in this game are cults. Which I don't mind inherently, it's just... There's too many of them in this game, I'm gonna be frank, but that's just me. Just the same confusion. This grave. Yeah, you may notice, hey, you are a three Pokemon. Delta Pokemon are rare, they're one of a kind. You may you may be wondering, how the heck did I get all three? Because they're all starters. I traded them over because looking at the first gym battle, it was not going to be... It would have been possible with either item use, which would have kind of spoiled the run. Like, if I'm allowed to use items... No. Or I would have to get stupidly lucky and I didn't feel like that'd be fun for me or you guys. So instead, I did this. I just traded all three of the starters over to one file. So yeah, uh, story so far. We woke up kidnapped by a cult. We escaped said cult. M apparently Mew likes us. I I'm not going to pay too much attention to the story in this game. Because it is edgy. Especially you pick the dark or darker storyline, which is the one I usually do. I did traditional this time, because, uh, let's see what happens. I don't think it'll have any effect on gameplay, but it might. Who knows? Yeah. Starter choice was Squirtle, which will matter when we get our Mega Stones and stuff like that, because... Spoilers, Megas, Megas are in this game, but not Z-Crystals. But they give me the new Megas are actually uh, pretty nice overall. They're actually some of the most balanced in terms of giving it to Pokemon that need it. Like, they don't give, like, Dragonite a Mega. But they give Pokemon like Don Fan, Meg Cargo, like a lot of Gen 2 Pokemon got Megas in this game. Like those are the ones I tend to remember. But yeah, the Megas are actually pretty good. Full stop. They are pretty strong. But they're the Pokemon that needed the Megas to be viable, so I don't mind as much. Yeah, once we get past the first gym, like, I'll make a save point at the first gym where if I lose the run, I can restart from there. Because the first gym is going to be hell. And the run basically is just going to be, like, unable to proverbially die before then, but after that, training wheels are off. I can die at any point. Weedle. We'll still use them as training. But yeah, IVs... Like, holy shit, we're gonna... They're, they're gonna have moves like Flamethrower in the first gym, so... <laughs> as you can tell, I'm scared. Now, something that I do like about this game, it has a speed-up function that I can toggle, 
but it doesn't affect the music. You have no idea how much I like that. <sighs> yeah. Well, uh, let's go into the first battle with the cults. Oh, you may notice I have five Pokemon in the decks. I'm just checking where they came from. Because I know I had to catch, like, two Nidoran males, but I don't know where the fifth one is from. Oh, right, Mew, because I got into a battle with Mew in my party before you get your starter. Since there is a small grass patch. Okay. Yeah, hello. I did change because Delta change. Yeah. <laughs> Don't pull Bulbasaur back. We're <laughs> cultists. Thank you. What, why not let the man who probably has his Pokemon on him fight the cult and is supposedly the leader of the world? You know, why, why not let him fight? The, why did they bring a. I just realized, if they're trying to assassinate basically the president, why did they bring a level 12 Skrelp? <laughs> Amazing foresight on their end. Bubble. Cool, we win. I had not needed to train as much as I thought I needed to. Okay, cool. And hey, a uh, nice part is... No matter what, I can actually see the recording time. In terms of arrival, Damien is very similar to, uh... Hop, I guess? Or... Hop or Wolf? It's, it, it's weird, okay. I don't take the story of this game seriously. I'm here for the Deltas and using them, because they I love them. They are actually a really cool concept they wish... Just got more polish in this game. Like, I really wish this game like got a ton more polish and stuff like that. Because this game has serious potential for me. Like, it had potential, but it kinda didn't use it all, sadly. Eventually, I do kinda wanna make, like, the Pokemon fan game ROM hack tier list of the ones I've played. In terms of a casual playthrough. Not challenge ones or anything, just casual playthrough. Okay. And by and with the casual playthrough, I'm going to assume you're in the intended audience for the playthrough, because like Pokemon Radical Red is aimed at competitive players. So someone who doesn't know what IVs or EVs and stuff are would have a lot more trouble with it and probably would rate it lower. Radical Red was just the first one I thought of. I do think that game does have some nice systems for introducing you to them. Which is very good. Diglets are fast little fucks. Yeah, but hey, you guys probably want to deal with 50 minute recordings in this playthrough. Because I actually see my recording time now. As well, at some point, I am going to try and get editing software after Christmas, because I'll have Christmas money to spend, and yeah, I'll probably get some editing software so I can actually start editing these videos and making them a bit more professional. Oh no. Uh, we're switching to one of my special tactics for this. Yeah. Now, yeah. I should quickly ex I just realized I should have explained when Iron Man was at the start of the recording, but... Oh well, ten minutes in. 
you guys get to know. And Iron Man is basically a easier quote unquote version of a Nuzlocke. They both have different challenges. Nuzlocke's are based around working with whatever you get. And, well, making it happen. Yeah, Ragnarola, and you've never used, like, that Pokemon? Well, you gotta work with it. You get some objectively bad Pokemon, like, say, Dunsparce? Too bad. That's what you're stuck with from that route. As well, you have to make it work effectively. And Iron Man is a softer version where the first catch rule isn't in play, but if you lose a Pokemon, you lose its entire evolution line. I mean, you can never use it again. The exception is if you need, like, HMs. I've never met a fan game that's stupidly restrictive on HMs, so it doesn't come into play a lot, but it can. This game actually has, uh, HM stuff, so, yeah. I am gonna be very happy about that, because I don't need HM users in my party. Okay, so, he has a Murkrow. Actually, we need Bulbasaur alive for something. Yeah, we should probably beat the required trainers first. Oh. We can... I never knew that. Yeah, some of the Pokemon Deltas are gotten through trades, so I will be catching other Pokemon for trades. For example, one coming up is I can trade a Totodile for a Dwebble. And that Dwebble is going to be very important, probably. Yeah, but the Deltas are basically... The, because they're genetic mutations, they don't exactly have to make perfect sense in terms of how they fit into the world, which opens up... Holy fuck! Hypnosis? Yeah, we're gonna... Right over that. That might have been a mistake, but we will go with it. Because Baby Dolls isn't a horrible move since it's priority attack lowering in the early game. And can save you sometimes. Alright, cool, we got... Yeah. Delta Bulbasaur has a very fun time early game. Like, all the Deltas, because of their weird typings, have a very interesting early game. As well, the trainers have tons of different types. Like, we're always seeing stuff like Murkrow, for God's sake. Okay, thank god, yeah. Yeah, again, if we lose someone, it's basically over. Because I... I feel, have a big feeling I'm going to need all of my deltas for this point in the game. For the first gym. Because it's going to be tough. Maybe impossible. Who knows? Because, uh... Well, you'll- you'll see why. Okay, hold on. Hmm. I don't think I want to fight her yet. But yeah. What I do want to look into is... <laughs> Totodile. Because I need to catch one of those. Route 2 has it... From fishing? No, it's a grass encounter at level 15. Oh. She has an execute and a crabby. But yeah, I I'm heavily gonna be using like just wiki for just information on trainers. Because, basically, if a team member goes down, there might not be a, a replacement for them. Like, in Nuzlocke, 
by the end game you have things you can swap in and out. There might not be another one. There might not be that in this game. Okay, if it didn't die, I was gonna switch to Charmander. Great ball. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh yeah, this route also has that cave, which leads to a nice small little area. Starts with a Porygon. Luckily, I don't think Porygon has any scary attacks yet. I'm sure he can go Transform into a normal type, guys. Oh shit, his attack is going up. If he actually has a physical move, that could be. I think he only has normal moves. Cool, good. Suffer. I forgot what your other Pokemon is. Hopefully, it's also normal type. Now it's a Weasel, so I resist it anyway. Oh no! <laughs> if you don't have a water type move. Okay, well. Yeah, that's the thing about Charmander, he's basically what I consider the easy mode, just because a lot of trainers early on aren't gonna have movesets that can hit him even. So a lot of trainers can just not hurt him. Paris. Hmm, Sun Spoil, that'd be scary. Well, we got stun sport. We're just gonna keep using Twister, Dragon Sap, Special. Yeah. Please tell me it doesn't have Nightshade yet. That's the move I'm scared of. No, it doesn't. It seems. Yeah, it, it's relying on Leech Life, meaning you need to save Parahax to kill me. There. Welcome to Midna Town. This town is nice. That's all I have to say about it. I'm just checking if there's any trades I want. You think I would have memorized everything, but no. No, we can't get any deltas in here. It's on normal. On hard, we chose Squirtle, so... Oh, you gotta be... Oh, fire alarm's going off. Oh, we, we already gotta deal with focus sashes, guys. For the first major battle. Oh, that's. That's gonna be a rough one. I'm gonna end this episode off here, probably. Yeah, Eevee has a mega evolution in this game because it's a starter. But specifically, Eevee. None of the other ones. Okay, so do we have to beat the tournament? Yeah, we gotta find this person named Nora. She's basically the other rival. If we go into this cave, we'll find her. You know what? Yeah, we'll do mid in the mine. We'll we'll do mid in the mine, and then cut the episode for the day. Mid in the mine. Just make sure there's no. Trainers there, like dummy strong. Oh wow, an 
base trainer already. Let's see. He has a Timber, Krikatot, Chikori. Uh, sounds like Charmander food. Yeah, level cap right now is 17. Which I think is one under when our starters evolve, which sucks. I might go over that cap intentionally because I... If we only have the three stars, we are going to need them in their second stage. As as dumb as that is, we are probably going to need them at that stage. Using Twister a mile. Just keep using it. Okay, poison powder. Uh, poison doesn't kill in this game. I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, we're getting confused, right? Cool, we, we killed it. That could have been an issue. Now we're going to run back to the Pokemon Center. Poison will fade away. <laughs> yeah. Probably off camera I'll make a run to grab items they think will be useful for this point in the game. Spoiler, there aren't many. We are still stupidly early in. We are going to have to deal with some very scary trainers. Escape rope. Uh, nice. Yeah, that's a fun fact for you. Most rock type moves work for rock smash. Fighting type moves work for rock smash. Uh, we're gonna switch to Squirtle here, actually. Because I know these guys can hit him, but I have bite. On Squirtle. Fire spin, of course. Whatever we killed him. Moonton should be a lot easier just because he has lower physical defense. Yeah. Moonton's a lot easier. Now sadly we don't exactly have a move that can do rock smash yet. Oh you just have a Ryolu, okay. Just making sure on that. Also Hmm. Just think like You guys waiting for it to fail. Cool, perfect. Suffer. That's all I have to say there. Yeah, early game Pokemon is literally just spam your best move, hope for the best. She has a Flabebe. Mm -hmm. That actually is super effective against two of my team members, you have to handle it. For you, I probably am gonna set up a Leech Seed stuff. Leech Seed to heal. I misclicked so hard. Good thing it doesn't matter. Cool, hypnosis. Cool, it's stay to sleep. Another fairy. Okay, well, hmm. Proof the episode should have been cut earlier. Yeah, we're going to rely on Confuse Axe. Oh, lovely. Please. Oh, thank god.
Yeah, I was gonna say. Well. Hmm. That's probably gonna be a restart from when I got all three starters. I'll be cutting the episode here and I'll I'll meet you guys back when I get through and yeah everything is all back to here with all three of them alive because I need them all that may sound greedy but trust me it's not you will see why I need all three Pokemon once we get to the uh, trainer school battle And good note, uh, fairy lady, crazy. Uh, yeah, whatever, I should probably just restart save. Peace. And that's it for episode one. Like, comment, subscribe, I don't know what YouTubers do anymore. Well, fuck it, bye.